Hello! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be uploading yet again another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my at home workout routine. Sometimes we don't have time to be leaving the house. Sometimes we're too busy caught up doing work aka me work or sometimes the weather throws us off or sometimes we're just not in the mood to socialize with people. I totally understand girl. I've been there. I literally I'm still there sometimes. I don't do it like every day. I only do it on days where I get stuck at home working. It's too late to go to the gym and I don't want to drive alone like 20 minutes away because my gym is kind of far. You know, all the above, all the above. I personally love to use weights and I will always try to incorporate weights into my workout routine if I can. If you do not have weights, you can always improvise. If you down to get the gains, you will literally do anything. If you want to purchase little dumbbells or something, I do definitely recommend checking out thrift stores before you check out like Target or anything like that. You got to work with what you got, okay? Don't feel discouraged. Getting close to a new year, so a lot of people are like, oh my god, new year, new me, but no. Sisters, start now. Imagine procrastinating on your goals one day, then a week, then a month, then a year, then you realize all this time has gone by wasted. You're still in the same place. If only you would have gotten started the day you had planned, you would be in a different position, but you are not. So get on top of your goals, get started today, get started now. Literally you waiting an extra day isn't gonna make a difference. If anything, you're gonna regret not starting early. By the way, I do want to thank Lululemon for sponsoring this video. I have worked with them in the past before. I love all of their stuff. You guys know they have top-notch quality clothing. They also have a self-care line. I'm showing you guys a few of their self-care products, so I'm very, very excited. So stay tuned for that. Lululemon, we love you on this side. Shout out to you, sister. Hello, future me coming in to say what's good, what's up, hi. Really quick, I do want to briefly mention you are trying to get an hourglass figure type of illusion situation definitely recommend you work on upper body going to help you to create the illusion of a smaller waist you want to work on full body you don't just want to focus on your lower body the past when i first started working out like i just wanted to grow my lower body and i didn't care about my upper body a lot of the times girls are scared to work on upper body because they think they're gonna look bulky but i'm here to tell you that you are not gonna look bulky long is cute and being strong is beautiful when i see strong girls it's very empowering so you know like women and men are not built the same so your body isn't gonna turn into like this like very structured man body because we're not the same don't be scared work on upper body even though this upper body workout isn't anything super duper crazy you are consistent with it it will give you results you can get your hand on some 10 pound dumbbells maybe some 15 or 20 pound dumbbells don't be afraid to be strong being a strong woman is empowering this video i love you so much i appreciate you okay bye just going to your local thrift store to get some dumbbells because they always have some there if not you're gonna end up paying over 200 dollars i got at target you can also use lightweight resistant bands for upper body workouts today shout out to jasmine's bands going to be using eight pound and 15 pound dumbbells every now and then i'll use the threes um but i mostly use these to warm up this is a little setup very cute cute little setup i don't have a lot also i do suggest you do get something like this i love to use it for my workouts i use it to do hack squats i use it to do hip thrusts because it's low enough and i also use it to sit down and do some upper body work so 10 out of 10 recommend if you can get like some sort of little bench or stool it's definitely going to come in handy
feel like fucking noodles. one that I find that isn't too big and bulky, but still kind of holds things together because that is hella cute. Also, hella random, but you see my lips, how they fade? Like, they don't really have a lot of color on the outside and I always wear lip liner because if I don't wear any lip products, it just looks like I have, like, faded ass lips. It just looks weird. That's why I always wear lip liner. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my bedroom bathroom literally johnny and i haven't even been living here for more than a month and like we already broke our bathroom i hope you guys enjoyed that upper body workout obviously it's not gonna be like optimum like you're gonna make optimum gains like as much as you would at the gym but sometimes you just can't leave the house i've been so obsessed with iced coffee also you notice the bags underneath my eyes like I can't get rid of those. Go ahead and get ready to head out because I want to go buy some things. I need to go get some Tuppyware. I need to go get like adult things, you know, because I'm living on my own now. I'm going to go ahead and put on some deodorant. deodorant is from the Lululemon Self Care line. This is in the scent Black Pepper Sandalwood. I like to smell like man. It's like musty but clean and fresh but not overwhelming like Axe because that's gross. It's aluminum free. It has natural ingredients. The zinc it has inside acts as like an uh, odor absorber. Personally me, I like to use sprays because when you use a roller or when you use um, the ones that come in like the, when you use regular stick deodorants, I don't know if you guys know, but that spreads bacteria and low key, that's kind of gross. So that's another reason why I personally like to use sprays too. That's probably like my favorite scent. They also have the aloe lotus one. And this one smells good, but like I said, I like to smell like a man, so you know i'm gonna go ahead and kind of fix my hair um i was going to oh jesus christ fun fact i don't wash my hair that often i don't want to dry it out or strip it of its natural oil it's always better to kind of leave your hair as dirty as possible which sounds kind of gross sometimes i go six days without washing my hair want to know how i go six days without washing my hair dry shampoo I gotta stay on top of the dry shampoo game because you don't want to damage your hair. You don't want to strip your hair of its oil. I know sometimes you're in a ponytail or especially when you work out, your hair can get very oily at the roots and sometimes you don't got time to be fucking showering. I didn't use their dry shampoo. I like to spray it at the root. This is a no-show dry shampoo, by the way. So if you have dark hair, it won't be noticeable. The product itself, when you spray it on, it's very lightweight. If you got to go to work after the gym, you don't have time to shower, you can just put in some dry shampoo. Let's go in with my fingers and I just kind of work it into my scalp. I don't care if some of you guys think it's gross. I am trying to grow out my hair, so I'm trying to let it be in its natural oils as much as possible. 
I see how I don't have like the hairline from having my hair up in a bun. It's because I use scrunchies now and I didn't know that normal hair ties damage your hair and like I said I'm trying to take care of my hair and I'm trying to grow it out and I have bleached hair so it's a lot like thinner and it's more prone to breakage. So I have been using these scrunchies. These scrunchies are so cute and they're reflective. If you follow me on Instagram you have seen me like wear these in like selfies and stuff these don't leave me like a little line from when i have my hair up which is nice i got this black one and i got two white ones low-key makes you look like a little girl but it's low-key vibe like crazy hmm. i was gonna put my hair in a little bun again but i think i'm just going to go ahead and in, like a little bottom bun my scrunchie I've been putting my hair in a lot of buns because I'm trying to grow my hair out. And I like little buns with little clips. Go ahead and put in these cute little clips. Self-care basic balm. Lip balm. It has shea butter, vitamins A, F, and E. So have travel size items for all of these items. I believe you can get these things at Sephora to reset face moisturizer this one is in the mini travel size. one thing that's very important to me is for sensitive skin and this is i've already tried it before so this right here is a cooling body lotion deep hydration it cools down the skin and reduces the sweat lag and then since it dries super fast you can put on your clothes super fast right now. so as you can see a lot of these products were very minimal they're like staples that you could add in into your day-to-day -day life simple stuff that's gonna get you in and out in a gif check out lemon self-care line a lot of good products available obviously online and I will have links down below as well as stores like Sephora. I also got this cute little sports bra. It's like a cute like shirt sports bra type of situation. So it's not too exposing in the front because like my boobs are not big but they're not small so they attract attention sometimes. So I like to be covered in this area. I have been really enjoying the more like natural makeup looks especially just being so busy and just going from one place to another and then going to the gym and then going to the store and then going to just run errands. Like, I was going to show you guys, like I said, my makeup routine, but I don't want to give it away because I'm going to film a whole video on that soon. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and run some errands. This is my low look at my mess. Easy day outfit. Like I said, top is from Lululemon. And to show you guys what I'm using in my coffee because girl, this is fire i kind of just do it because i think it tastes good and so i don't drink a lot like that's literally i don't even fill it up halfway just a little bit less than halfway coffee i'm using dark roast i also like medium roast um because i like it strong i think it just tastes good i like the bitterness dude i love that i mentioned this in like her recent video on how to make the best cafecito or whatever this creamer is hands down the best non-dairy creamer so go get it and then sometimes if i do do the dark roast i will add some silk almond milk just to kind of lighten it up a little bit because sometimes it's a little too over like this video it was kind of like a workout vlog style type of video i love and appreciate you guys so much again thank you lululemon for sponsoring this video again all of their stuff will be linked down below as well as all my social media platforms so y'all can keep up with me on the daily because i'll be posting more content on instagram and twitter and stuff